Good morning and welcome again to another morning minute meditation here with the crew at Higher Grounds. I want to thank you for stopping by and we've been looking at some of the paradoxes or opposites that we have in the scripture that were taught through the Word of God and we've looked at several different ones but today I would like to look at how we live by dying. Uh, it's an interesting uh, to note how many times that Paul talked about being crucified in the book of Galatians. Very familiar verse, Paul said in Galatians 2.20, he said, I am crucified with Christ. And so we know that Christ was crucified on the cross and that he died for our sin. I'm crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. So Paul used a term of death and now he used this term of life. And so Paul is telling us that I died with Christ at salvation and now I live through and with the Lord Jesus Christ. And he said, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. In the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Paul just testified and he said, the more I die, the more I live. When my wants and my desires die, then I'm able to live and embrace the life that Christ has for me. Later in the book of Galatians, as he's closing it out in chapter 6 and verse 14, he said, but God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom the world is crucified unto me, and I unto the world. When Paul gave us this verse, here is a man that could boast of great accomplishments. But he says, I don't boast in what I've done because I'm a dead man, but I am boasting in what the Lord Jesus Christ has done, and now that I am allowed to do through him. Brother Terry Dietz, a dear friend of mine, made this statement one time that we ought to allow the cross to cross us out. And so today, thank God for the new life I have in Christ, not that I have to live, but that I get to live for Him. Have a great day.